So this is an inventory video at FMI Bases here in Pasadena, California. <coughs> this one is uh, Saturday, September 24th. So this is a sh an Eastman SD80. This is a Milano MB40F. Definite fingerboard, all laminate, flame maple veneer sides and backs. This is a Billy base with a cutaway edge. This is a carved top Milano MB100 S stock number. Same thing here. Different kind of strings on those too. This is a 1920s check base, flat back, laminated, sides back, carved top. This is a few years old Christopher DV504. It's all carved with the Bicetto corners, rounded down here. It helps make a bigger volume to the bottom end. This is a strong sounding bass. It's got Spiracore EA, Evaparate DG. It's on sale. We need to blow out these big basses that aren't selling easily. This one here is a, an all carved. Nice quality Romanian made base. This is the huge one of two Gofrillers. Gofriller, famous brand name. Named after the maker. Straight get across. Fire core set on that base. It's got straight bel cantos. Now much bigger bowed. This is a 1961 King Mortone. Body and pure immaculate condition. The edges just wow. This is a busted up Colin Volter. This is a removable neck in the white, ready for any sort of stain or paint job. Three quarter base, ebony fingerboard. That's gonna be a great workhorse base. And here we have American made bases on one rack. We have a K on each end. Of bird's eye maple 41k here. On the other end, a 41k plain finishing all. Both of them sound good. And then we have two Inglehearts here. And this one is a 59 King Mortone. Bodies. Pretty good shape. Got some chipped edges. Overall, great. The neck's never been broken. This is an animal of a face. So this is a half-size Milano MB12. With the Palatino steel strings. This is a Billy bass. Spiracore, be famous on it. This is an MB40, ebony fingerboard. All laminate model with some Eurosonic jazz orchestral strings on it. This is a tricked out Milano MB40 with a blonde stain and oil finish. Pretty good bit of pinch wrapping. Could you show the back of it and everything? It's pretty good. This is pinched up pretty nicely. And side dot markers, pick up from really Pretty big acoustic sound. This is Milano MB40F, all laminate. And flame maple sides and back, ebony fingerboard. Palatino steel strings. They're cheap but loud. Big strong sound and they bow nicely. It's another same model bass. Then we have a Yamaha silent bass, the 100, whatever the stock number that is. It's a 100 model. This is a Milano MB12 that we uh, rescued from <laughs> so lucky. Fixed up what they've done to the neck, made it uh, removable. It's got a bolt in the back for a removable neck. It's got a sound hole to hear yourself. And uh, it's all 
all laminated and we got four pickups on it now to demonstrate different pickup sounds here. A lot of people are curious, you know, what a given pickup sounds like because they haven't had it on their base, whatever. So we have the uh, Realist Copperhead, the Realist Lifeline, Fishman Full Circle, and the K and K Base Max all on here at once, so we can A, B, and back and forth. All right, and here's our convertible, all laminated. This is a Cremona SV1, I believe that. fingerboard job and then uh, later the natty brought it in for converting to a removable neck and a paint job magnetic pickup he was touring with uh, a professional guitarist band for a little while all right and here's our satin finished black with green pinstriping this has got two sound posts in it so when you put a pickup in to amplify you don't have to worry about feedback and here's one that we bought back off somebody. They put these glow in the dark thick dots on there and cut some in half to distinguish. And it has our wood tone pickup in it and uh, spiral cord medium strings. <clears throat> and then we have a Palatino, oh, excuse me, an Eminence, Eminence fixed neck, brand new base, side dot markers, one, two, three, five, seven, nine, and twelve. Of course, the Realist Copperhead pickup gives it its sound, big, fat sounding base. And uh, <clears throat> it's on sale for 2500 normally 2800 We're trying to blow it out of here. It's a floor demo model like new but not quite and this is another satin finish um, basic base rockabilly setup two sound posts not much volume acoustically but plug it in with a pickup and you don't have to worry about feedback similar thing here except this one has just the one sound post it's got a set of Synthetic gut strings by FMI on it and an underwood pickup. And this one's on sale for like 1900 I believe, with the pickup, ready to rock. Okay, we should finish. And this is a two century old three string bass. It was owned by Bill Johnson, father of slap bass, and a jazz pioneer. Got grooves dug in the fingerboard from his fingernails. This bass sounds rich, fantastic, amplified. We plan to put a. Uh, this is a Cremona SB2. Bridge, I believe it is, and uh, gut strings, uh, ADG, and uh, maybe a round gut E, I believe that's what it is, and uh, yeah, some sort of pickup, Vix pickups, for rockabilly, and this is a 1960s German 5.8s all laminated bass. size base. Need setups the rest of the way. We got paint strips. We got to do the fingerboard job now. Get that bridge a little higher. Get it shaped right. Make it a workable base. This whole outfit here is $16.95 with a pickup ready for the stage. We may just keep it around and uh, loan it to Viva Las Vegas every year. Two sound posts so you won't get feedback. <clears throat> this is a basic Milano MB45 black. 800 bucks. You get you one of these bases. Ready for rockabilly. Or you could put different strings on or whatever. 
This is our Pride and Joy, the Pink Lady, gorgeously tricked out paint job. An acoustic sounding bass, with bassy bass. Put a pickup on it, do what you want. This has um, pinstriping with gold foil stuck to it. And then just the blue pinstriping, different panels of paint, and uh, clear coat over it all. This is one heck of a nice paint job for a decorative vase. And here's our rack of shins right now. We've got three SB90s on here and a carved top SB150. These are your Sonic Ultra Lights for easy flex for slapping. This base has spire core mediums on it. And this one has Palatino steel strings. And this carved top baby's got spire core mediums. Yep, mediums. And this is a blast cult, all laminated, strong rockabilly bass. With their flexible metal brown slap strings. Blast cult pickup, or this blast cult straight up and down. Normally about five thousand dollar bass. We're asking a lot less. If you're interested, give us a call. You'll be shocked how low we get the price on that. I think you'll be shocked how low it is, really. This is a Palatino Blonde. We started fingerboard smoothing here. Got some of the paint off. And this is an Engelhart Swingmaster violin corners. Spruce veneer top, parallel lines of green, that's spruce. Um, quilted maple veneer sides and back. Doesn't show very well. We're, all, we're gonna do a, probably an oil stain on this, color it uh, blonde or vintage cherry, whatever, you know, make it different. And the oil finish helps make it sound stronger instead of a lacquer. And this is a quilted maple top, uh, not swing master, just the EM1. And uh, ready for stain or paint, whatever. And <clears throat> this is an early K. I believe this is the first year K. Okay? It's got a three piece neck, and this thing is just coming apart. The seams, we need to do a major restoration on this one. But it's really worth doing because the edges are in great shape. The top isn't all warped out of shape from misuse. Great base. This <clears throat> is the probably 1940s German hybrid carved top. It's got the E flat neck. 8th fret is at the neck heel instead of the standard D neck with a 7th fret is there. <laughs> and this is a mystery base. Really thin carved top. Repaired, cracked, thin, solid sides. It's got a thin laminated back somebody put on probably way after it was made. It's got the Big top hat tuning machines. We gotta go <laughs> do a restoration on this, and it's probably gonna sound really alive and rich once we're done. Also, needs an ebony fingerboard. Okay, there you have it.